In this video, I combine armor, accessories, and buffs to figure out what is the max speed we can run in Terraria. Let's see how it goes. All right, I have compiled all of the things that will make us run faster here. Obviously, I use the wiki for this, so if any information is wrong, go edit the wiki, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, we're going to test out a couple of running speeds here. I got our little asphalt track. Very, very long, as we can see. And I also got the flowers at the bottom. So let's just go ahead. Let's just run. Let's see what our max speed tops out at with nothing on but the flowers and the asphalt track a nice 64 miles per hour not bad now let's go ahead let's add a little buff we're gonna just see how fast we go one at a time and i got a little buff up here look at this boom cake gives a sugar rush 20 percent more speed let's see how fast we go now we were 64 before now 76 nice okay we got a lot more things to go through here let's just do like the simple buffs starting with this let's let's eat some christmas pudding which will give us exquisitely stuff which gives us a major speed of boof i don't know why i said boof a major speed buff and also look the character actually like holds out the pudding look at him yeah let's go ahead let's see how fast we run with this so 76 before and now 98 we are really getting up there with the numbers now let's combine that with a swiftness potion which gives us 25 percent increased movement speed so 98 there's got to be hundreds oh yeah 111 oh my god we're going so fast and we are just scratching the surface so now we got some armors here let's go ahead let's put on a let's let's start with the cobalt helmet this gives us a 10 percent movement speed buff and i gotta hurry up before my cake runs out so 111 what do we get to now 116 117 quickly again we're gonna put on the gi that gives us another 10%. Let's see. So 116, 117. We could go higher than that. 122 solid. And last but not least, we got the Shinobi Infiltrator Pants. Gives us 30% increased movement speed. So 122, is that what it was last time? Oh my god, 138. We are zooming. And again, we're just starting to scratch the surface. All right, what's next here? Obviously, let's start throwing on some accessories. Let's start with some uh, some lower tier accessories here. All right, so we're gonna start with the anklet. That's gonna give us 10% plus 4% because all of these accessories have quick on them. So let's see what we hit now. Oh my God, 149 with just one more accessory. All right, let's put on the mag luminescence, which also gives us more speed. 149, oh my God god 181 that like damn near gave us 40 more speed that's crazy mag luminescence slept on item man came out with the don't starve update uh slash collab great item all right next up we got the celestial shell we're gonna put this on this turns us to a werewolf at night so we gotta make it nighttime because when you're a werewolf you do get a five percent movement buff i believe it's five percent maybe it's a little bit more or less but let's see 187 nice just a little bit more than uh when we added the mag luminescence all right next we got the panic necklace so i'm gonna have to get hit i might have to take a little bit of damage here i don't know what's gonna be the best way to do this i guess it's just summoning a slime oh, i'm in god mode we take a hit of damage and then we take off oh my god <laughs> The animation looks so weird when we're running. Like, it just looks off. Like, our character can't keep up with the steps. But what, 255 is what we hit right there? That's crazy. And we're still just scratching the surface. We still got a couple more accessories. Now, the wiki itself said to do things in a very specific order. It told me to equip the remaining accessories, which I only have three more slots. So I don't know why they listed eight accessories. But it told me to equip the remaining accessories. And then I get away from this right here, the uh, happy buff and i don't activate the cake buff yet instead i put all the accessories on uh <laughs> i put all the accessories on and then i leave the world and then i activate the cake buff and then i have to make sure that this happy buff is all the way on the right don't know why it's so specific hopefully someone in the comments can explain that just like you guys explained the reason why we had a certain setup for the uh the jumping video is because you know certain balloons override other balloons but yeah i guess now let's go ahead let's go ahead let's throw on uh, let's do uh soaring insignia first and let's just see how fast we go with that so let me go ahead take damage i gotta turn god one off and hurt myself again boom hit me okay how fast do we go now 205 oh all my stuff were out. i was about to say i was like what how did we uh oh there's a close one almost got myself killed again i saved it though all right let's try it again hit me boom 
let's see it in action 261 all right so we're like six more miles per hour faster and then let's throw on uh terror spark boots and why not frost spark let's just top it off see how it is go ahead run into me and what is our max speed with all this 277 277 now i don't know if that's a hundred percent our actual max speed i'm gonna do what the game said where it said to leave or do what the wiki said where it said to leave the world and activate things in certain order let's do it all right i have done all the steps now it says to trigger panic oh god i gotta get something spawned like right here trigger panic and then enter the runway where we then will get happy and then we run how fast 288 there you go that's where it seems like we top out at that's what the wiki says actually the wiki says 293 i, I don't know uh 293 how the heck do we hit 293 <laughs> so it does seem like oh my god i went so far it does seem like you do have to do it in a certain order to max it out but like 293 how the heck do we do 293 i'll pop up everything the wiki says right here like i swear i'm doing everything right all right so editing the video i noticed that the wiki actually says to swap off the panic necklace after getting hit 100 percent did not pay attention to that makes more sense but i just ended up using cheat sheet and giving myself an extra accessory slot because i was wondering i was like how the hell do we get eight accessory slots am i tripping but no you're supposed to take off the panic necklace after you get hit makes more sense now if there was a way to equip an eighth accessory wait there is a way hold up we have mods boom eighth accessory slot welcome now i can add in the other set of boots that it wants me to add in somehow let me take damage again hello blue slime hit me thank you we got the buff let's see let's see 293 we got it technically i could equip more and more stuff since i have mods installed but maybe that's for another day because like look at this look at this what if i just like add in i don't know more boots would like more boots do anything like if i added inspector hermes flurry i can't place one there you go i can place one there now you know we got the dune strider the dune strider stuff i'm kind of interested in because oh my bad dune rider what's it called dune rider i'm kind of interested in that because like you could probably run really fast on sand with those so like maybe i don't know i don't know if this the running on sand is faster than asphalt but let's go ahead let's take damage again with the max accessory slots 289 what did we we went down <laughs> i mean i guess because i didn't leave the world but you think adding more accessories i, I would have went up all right i added sand because i just wanted to see if it was faster and it, it's not faster yeah it looks like 293 was the max even with all these accessories on uh extra accessories i still wasn't able to hit 293 without doing it specifically but one more thing i do want to check out i want to see it with a dash i want to see how this is with a dash because you know i usually use a dash to get into like that speed boost that running boost so let's see how the dash works boom Oh my god, look at him take off. I wonder if you could like spam dash and even go faster. Nah, I was losing speed trying to do that. Yeah, it's crazy. I don't think I've ever moved this fast in turret. You could really just like outrun a boss. Like you could probably just despawn a boss doing this. You're running so fast. Obviously with mods, we could probably get this to like 400. That might be a whole separate video. But yeah, one more thing I did want to do is I wanted to show off another type of speed here and that other type of speed is ascending speed and i guess we could show off downward speed too we might as well i believe the fastest you can move downwards is with the portal gun and it's like it's like a very specific number 170 they look like 176 go up even higher to show it off boom 179 there you go i believe that's the fastest that's what the wiki said but ascending speed let's see ascending speed here it told me to put all of this on let's put them all on let's see how these are so it said we gotta we gotta ascend right hold on let me make it daytime because i don't think it matters it says we gotta ascend and then when we hit a certain max speed ascending oh my god we already like we went so fast that like it didn't even matter the max speed but i was about to say like once we hit a certain speed we can switch to this mount right here and this gives us even more ascending speed let's try again see if i could actually hit the max speed here oh my god <laughs> that shot up to like 300 that was faster than our horizontal speed so that's pretty crazy how fast you could go with that you can get it even faster the wiki says you could get it like infinitely faster 
using like the inner tube and we, we showed off the inner tube a little bit in the last video the uh, jumping video and you literally can just like launch with the inner tube if i went underwater here the inner tube is a very very interesting item and can really you know launch you if you get the right setup for it obviously i don't have the right setup for it but yeah if you guys think the wiki is missing a couple of information on how to get even faster horizontally vertically whatever make sure you leave it in the comments and make sure they actually make sense because a lot of people in the last video were like why not just use feather falling why not use dean's curse that kind of takes away the whole point of the last video the whole point of the last video was how high can i jump not how high can i jump and float and fly like i might as well throw wings in there so when people were telling me to use feather falling like it kind of didn't really make sense to like the whole point of the video i don't care how high i can float i care about just the uh, initial jump how high i can jump i also did forget the king slime i forgot to show off the king slime mount but that video wasn't really about the mount same thing with this video it's not really about the mounts because i bet we can go zoom in with a mount but that ain't the point the point was running speed i got a couple more ideas like this kind of pushing terrarium yeah, basic features to its limit uh, i will say the next one that i do have planned i'll just throw it out there i might as well so you guys got something to look forward to it's probably gonna be attack speed related but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to check out the second channel if you miss any streams make sure to follow the twitch if you want to catch me streaming live and make sure to check out that game reddit's tiktok i've been posting a lot of funny clips on there i'll see y'all next time